Hey everyone, welcome back to Ontario Gardening. So today we are just going to discuss some seed organizing options ranging from pennies all the way up into a little bit more expensive options. So the first thing to talk about is how to actually store your seeds. So if you've opened a packet and you don't know what to do with them or you've collected your own seeds, let's quickly chat about some super cheap options for that. So at the dollar store, you can get these little craft bags. Um, there's usually like a hundred in a pack and you can easily store your seeds in there. So saving your seeds, you can label, label them on the front with a Sharpie um, or you have um, stickies to label them on, but Sharpie is just super cheap and easy. Another dollar store option are these coin envelopes and these also come in a bigger packet. And again, you can just write whatever seeds that you have on the front of there. And the last um, option for saving the seeds themselves um, would be to buy a seed packet. So I got these on Amazon. Um, I can link them down below, but it just has like your information on the front to write like your seed type, the variety, the date collected, and any notes. So these are awesome. They're um, self-sealing. So another option that's a little bit more expensive than the dollar store for saving the actual seeds themselves. Now, when it comes to organizing those seed packets, so whether it's ones that you've purchased or ones that you've saved, the simplest, cheapest way that you can do this that I have used in the past is just your good old Ziploc bags. So taking a sandwich bag and you can add your seeds to that sandwich bag and then you have the option to either use like a piece of tape or just a Sharpie and labeling your seeds. Now, what to do when you have organized each category in these bags. You can use a bigger Ziploc bag and obviously put those in and have a big Ziploc bag, which is perfect because that only is it nice and compact and organized. This is also like waterproof. So if it did get wet by accident, you're not gonna lose all your seeds. So that's a great option. Another option is to use an old shoe box or an old box of any sorts, container, anything that you can put these in and then slip them into a drawer, a closet, under your bed, or wherever you store your seeds. You could go and use a recycled product, so, um, you know, like an old salad container and store them in there. Pretty much anything that you can get your hands on at the dollar store, you can get like different baskets, pretty little baskets or um, containers with lids on them for a dollar. But either way, this is a super, super cheap and easy beginner way to save your seeds. I did that for years when I just had a smaller collection and I found that it worked really great. Another option on the cheap for saving your seed packets, the dollar store now has things like these. So this is backwards for you, but it says seeds and stuff. And it's basically like a container that you open. Mine's hosting clips right now, but you would put your seed packets in here. And they have a ton of cute little options in the garden section like this. So keep an eye out for things like that. If you only have a few seeds, a great option. Another option from the dollar store, I don't have on hand in front of me, but you can use a baseball, um, the baseball card sleeves. These fit perfectly inside of the sleeves and you of course would put them in a binder and then you could easily flip through your binder and look at your seeds, categorize them however you want. Another great option because usually you get like a 10 pack of those sleeves um, at the dollar store and then your binder would cost you nothing either. So great option. Another option if you want to flip through and physically see your seeds is um, a CD holder and they do have them at the dollar store. So you know like the old school CD holders, the seeds also fit beautifully inside of each CD slot. And again, you would be able to open your book and flip through those. Um, another option, they sometimes have them at the dollar store, but you might go on Amazon and find them for a little bit more expensive. So we're getting into like your mid range. So that was the cheaper options. This is more your mid range seed um, organization. So a family recipe box. So I don't know if you know what I mean, but usually a lot of these boxes, you open them up and this is where you would put your cue cards of your family recipes. And a lot of them have tabs in them. So if these, this is a pre-done box, I got this one for Christmas. So it says like baking, cooking, that kind of thing. But a lot of the times they come, um, like their tabs come blank. 
So you could literally write tomatoes, peppers, and you could flip through your organizer this way. So this is an awesome option, um, especially like if you just have a little bit of seeds or if you're trying to get organized. Um, and again, you wanna flip through, but maybe you don't like the binder style and you wanna spend a little bit more money. It's gonna be more compact and easier to slide away. Um, another mid-range option, mid -range option is they are called craft bead organizers and you can get these on Amazon so I actually had these a couple years ago so basically what they are is they are a little compact um, bead organizer and they have these little flip top they almost look like a tic-tac container so what I did actually I have some still left at the front is we organize them and I printed off labels and put the seeds and there's actually still seeds in here. So as you can see, I've got my seed on the front and then inside I've got your seeds. Now this is great when you are um, sowing your seeds, you can just pour them right into your hand or actually just sprinkle them into the garden depending on what you are doing. But yeah, this is a great compact. I think I think there's 50 of them in here. So it's a great way to host 50 seeds. Now, the one thing that I want to mention with these, the reason I actually stopped using them is I love to grow different varieties every year and experiment with different stuff. So these are great if you know what you want to plant every year. So if you plant the same thing every year, you, you have old trusty seeds, you know how they grow, you know what they do in the garden, these are great because you already know you can write on the front of them and you're going to know if you're growing, um, you know, a, a mushroom basket tomato, you, if you've grown it in the past and you already know how it grows, you don't need the seed packet information. But if you do, or you grow something new every year, a new variety, and you don't really know how it grows or anything like that, you're losing that information by transferring them to these um, containers and you would have to look it up. So that's just something to keep in mind. I hope that makes sense um, that you will lose that seed packet information if you transfer them in here. And if you need that or it's a, a new variety um, and you know, it's, it does suck too if you put seeds in here and then you don't end up liking them. Now you have kind of ruined your little container. So you could peel the label off and, and change it out, but just something to note with those. Um, one of the last seed organizing things to talk about and this seems to have blown up in popularity on the internet is these photo album organizers from Michaels um, you can get them from between 10 and 20 dollars depending on the sale they come in two options you can get get either a clear case or a colorful case and I will show you so it comes in a big carrying case and they have multiple different um, photo organizers. So it's gonna be about the size of a photo frame and I will show you, pulling them out here, this is what they look like. So like I said, it's about the size of a photo and people put their seeds in here because they open up and ta-da, you have your seeds. So I have gone through and labeled all mine personally, so by category, um, and this is a great option. It's hard plastic. They slide in slots beautifully. You can label them. You can change the labels on them. It fits the entire seed packet, so you're never losing out on that information that you get on the back of the seed packet. And you can use, so I've got one of these just stuffed with the little dollar store craft bags just stuff with seeds that I've collected or gotten in trades. So that is a great option. These are great, you can carry them. They're easy to store. Um, you can put them anyways. So I, like I said, I have all of mine labeled, as you can see inside. All of my categories are labeled. I've put some stickers on the outside. You can get these wet, you can kick them. I've had a dog stomp mine. So they're just an overall great product. But anyways, I hope that helps somebody with some seed organizing ideas. You can, like I said, do it for so cheap um, or you can go a little bit more expensive. It depends how much you like to garden, how many seeds you have is a big factor and how big or little that you want to go. And 
I hope this helps somebody. So we will talk to you soon. I guess we will see you Friday. We're making croutons. So we will talk to you later. Bye.